you have power over your brain chemicals. You're controlling them right now, in fact, but you don't know how because it's so natural. This video series explains your power over your happy brain chemicals, so you can turn them on in new ways and avoid unhappy chemicals. First, you'll learn the special job of each happy chemical. Dopamine, serotonin, oxytocin, and endorphin and the job of your unhappy chemical, cortisol. Then you'll learn about the neural pathways that control your brain chemicals. You'll find out how you built your neural pathways and how you can build new ones to turn on your happy chemicals in new ways. I'm Loretta Bruning, founder of the Inner Mammal Institute. I study the animal origins of our brain chemicals. I was amazed to learn that our happy chemicals are not meant to be on all the time. They evolved to reward you with a good feeling when you do something good for your survival and to warn you with a bad feeling when you see a survival threat. When you know how these work in the state of nature, it's easy to see what they're doing inside you. Each of us manages our happy chemicals with neural pathways built from our unique individual life experience. We are born with billions of neurons, but they're not connected to each other. You connect them without knowing it because happy chemicals are like paving on the roads of your brain. Each happy chemical surge of your youth paved a neural pathway that tells your brain where to expect rewards today. Each unhappy surge paved neural paths that tell your brain what to avoid today. You don't do this consciously. Your brain simply connects all the neurons active in the moment something good or bad is happening. This is how our ancestors wired themselves to find food and safety, and it's how you got wired to meet your survival needs. Each brain wires itself to meet its needs by finding more of what feels good and avoiding what feels bad. Your verbal brain has trouble making sense of your neurochemical ups and downs because they're managed by structures that do not process language. Underneath your verbal cortex, you have the same operating system as all other mammals. You have the brain stem, often called the reptile brain, and deep inside, a bunch of little structures you've probably heard of, like the amygdala, the hippocampus, hypothalamus, often called the limbic system. This mammal brain is attached to your spine, so in order to take action on the thoughts racing in your cortex, you have to spark your mammal brain. But the mammal brain doesn't process language, so when you talk to yourself, it's all in your cortex. The mammal brain has two basic gears, forward and reverse. It constantly distills your sophisticated thoughts into a step forward toward reward or a step back from threat. A forward step is motivated by a spurt of happy chemicals that says, this is good for me. A retreating step is motivated by unhappy chemicals that say, this is bad for me. This neurochemical guidance system motivates a mammal to survive by looking for ways to feel good. Of course, it seems like people do things that are bad for their survival, but the mammal brain defines survival in a quirky way. It cares about the survival of your genes, and it relies on neural pathways built in youth. It's easy to see how we can end up with some quirky pathways that we'd rather do without. You have power over your brain chemicals because your cortex can step on the brakes, which gives your mammal brain a chance to generate a new impulse. But it's not easy because your electricity in your brain flows so effortlessly into old neural pathways. Fortunately, you can build a new pathway by feeding your brain new experiences. Anyone can do it. This video series shows how to build a new pathway by repeating a new choice every day for 45 days without fail. You will give your electricity a new place to flow. It's challenging because your old pathways feel natural, so leaving them feels unnatural. But when you understand your mammal brain, you will persist, and on day 46, your new choice will feel normal, and you'll be eager to start your next rewiring project. More complete instructions on how to do this can be found in my book, Habits of a Happy Brain, Retrain Your Brain to Boost Your Serotonin, Dopamine, Oxytocin, and Endorphin Levels. The following episode explains what turns on your happy chemicals 
so you can turn them on in new ways. Click on episode two now to find out.